<coughs> Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rahakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the head apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the Hofi elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in truth, sincerity, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Lord, when this lesson may be edifying and straight to the point. All right, and I just got a quick video I wanted to go into. You know, through the spirit and power, you have by Shemal Shah. This sister pretty much she made a lot of good points. You know, on what's about to come down the pipes for America. You know, and this, uh, the spirit got the flowing. You see, so I'm going to play it. The USA will suffer a financial crisis that is worse than all previous ones. So I've been saying this for quite a while that America is going to have a crash that will make. 1929 30 31 32 depression look like a practice run 2008 look like a kids baseball game yeah it and that's and that's pretty much scripture right because the lord tell you <clears throat> oh look at you just get it right here this is the book of second timothy chapter three and verse verse one there's no also that in the last days perilous times shall come and that perilous times, that it, uh, word perilous, you know, going into dangerous and risky, you see? And that's uh, centering the collapse of this empire, you know, that falling in with that, the food chain collapsing, jobs being lost, you see? All that falling, fall under those perilous times, man, those dangerous times, you see? Because a lot of people going to be getting cast out in the streets with their kids and without food. You see, and that's gonna lead people to uh, breaking in other people's houses. You know, uh, we say this. A hey, scripture said that they should destroy their houses for the lack of bread. You see, real quick, let's grab um, <clears throat> it's the book of Daniel, chapter twelve and verse one. He saying at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. You see? So it's fit to be a time of trouble like never seen since there was a nation, man. You see? So this is the this is for the Trump slave. The times we fit to enter into here in America gonna trump slavery. You see, it's gonna trump the Holocaust. You know, because ultimately these people, they're going to be committing cannibalism, man. You know, you living among sick people, man. If a nigga uh, tattoo his eyeballs or transfer his, transform himself into a lizard, you know, and they get this man attention, they put this man on a, pet, uh, on a platform where he can influence other sick motherfuckers who think in that way, and that's a thing in America. You know, how much more... For the for your average American man, these niggas gonna fucking crumble, man. You know, these niggas is gonna crumble. You see, but let's go back to the video. So, like, let me finish this out. He say, uh, and there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that should be found written in the book, you see, and that's going into the whole field. Look. Hey, this is not at all Christianity, man. Where every good, everybody that's found in good graces with the Lord is gonna flow up, no matter what nation you are. Moabites, you know, nah. Edomites and Hamites, no, man. You see, those who are found reading the book are the whole for elect of the nation of Israel and Israel only. That's who the deliverance for you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians who sincerely repent and return to Yahweh by Shema Shah in truth. You gotta repent and return to return as an Israelite in truth, man. You see? You can't be calling yourself uh 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 you saying that you you Israel, but you believe in some damn Yiddish Hebrew. You calling on Yahweh and Yahuwah and Yish. you gotta return in truth, man. You gotta come all the way back, man. You see, and the information not there for you to come all the way back. The Paleo Hebrew right there, the Lashawan Kodash, the understanding and how to pronounce it. You see, you got Hebrew teachers, brothers going into the Lashawan Kodash. So the, the information out there for you to come back, you just gotta be willing. You know, and if not, this time of trouble gonna consume you. You see? But let's go back to the video.
a financial crisis worse than every other kind that has ever come before and he said this time there will be no rescue by the government or anyone else the economy will be destroyed and conditions that are equal to and she said there would be no rescue man you see because right now these stupid dumbass americans they ignore that the economy collapsing. They ignore that the Mississippi River drying up, the Ohio River drying up. You know, they ignore all the forest fires and and the famines and the uh, uh, the famine brewing. You know, all the crops that was destroyed, all the cattle that was killed and lost in cyber attacks. They ignoring all that shit. They still in La La Land, man. You see, that's why this shit gonna, when they come down on them, they gonna crumble. You see, um. And where I was for the go? Kind of thought y'all about outside. First Thessalonians chapter five and verse one. But of the time and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that 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 the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Yeah, and that day, see, the day of the Lord is not. <clears throat> you have a you have the ultimate day of the Lord. You know when the missiles come flying. And the people, and you know, and the missiles come and destroy America. But it's a series of events, man. You see, this day is going to creep up on you niggas, man. And you're going to feel the judgments of y'all about Shemel Shadda. She's going to get intense, man. You know, he said, for when they should say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape, man. See? So this this destruction is going to suddenly fall upon you Americans when you least suspect it, like on a Tuesday or some shit. You know, some shit going to pop off, man. You know, might pop off on a Sunday, Sunday, church, Sunday church morning on some shit, man. You know, it's going to suddenly come up. The famine is going to suddenly come upon you. Your, your grocery store is just going to suddenly be found empty. They just going to suddenly stop getting trucks in. Hey, it's a diesel shortage, man. So these grocery stores just going to stop getting trucks in all of a sudden. Then all of a sudden your shelves going to be fucking empty and you're going to be in a new time period. You're going to be in a new uh, uh, a new uh, season. Whole whole a whole scenario done change. Niggas ain't flexing no, no more. Niggas concerned now. Your whole scenario, your whole life, gonna, your whole channel going to change, man. Everything. Your mentality, your reasoning. Everything going to change in a, in a split second. Once that report go out and you see what the fuck going on, your whole reality, your motives, your reasoning, your purpose, everything going to fucking change, man. You know, go back to the video. Or worse than the Great Depression will arise. And then curiously, the Lord said this. It is wise to marry a rational man who has the common sense to keep a duffel bag of money and other resources in his house. Do not marry a complacent fool who does not know the signs of the time. This is the warning of the Lord. Hey, and this, <laughs> hold on. You heard that? This is the warning of the Lord. You dumb, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you women out there, do you like to run out the Jake? After these dumb, stupid ass, effeminate street niggas, emotional, these niggas gonna leave you for dead, man. These weak, effeminate niggas is gonna leave you for dead, man. A complacent fool who don't can you having kids by a nigga who not even considering the times that we headed into. You marrying a nigga that's not even considering the Lord. This nigga fully invested in the currency and that shit collapsed. He don't know shit about. How to maneuver, because ultimately the men of the Lord was given the wisdom. The men of Yahweh Bashimah was shot, the prophets was given the wisdom on how to maneuver in this season. That's when we was at, we was getting our spirits built up, man. Over the whole time, motherfuckers was scoffing. We getting built up in the spirit, man. You know? But y'all marrying these complacent, that shit gonna fall back on you. Even with Jake, man, that shit gonna fall back on you, man. You know? So, women. I guess you can hear the banking crisis is coming, not being. Yeah, the banking crisis coming. So the niggas who got a bag 
you're going to be worthless in the time of, in the day of the Lord. Niggas going to be burning money to stay warm, man. You know, your money pretty much ain't going to be worth shit. It's going to be about protection, wisdom, how, how you maneuvering, man. Hey, the man of the Lord going to be on, man, the Lord going to make sure we good, man. I'll be right to Zion by that number, man. You see? Hey, the Lord going to make sure we good. He said, hey, uh, my servant should eat, but you shall be hungry. My servant should have joyfulness and gladness of heart, but you shall, you shall howl as is 65, man. You know, and that's going to be the spirit of you niggas and you nigga women. You're going to be in a howling spirit. Vexation, mourning, sorrow, shameful. You see? <laughs> Even Jake, man. He said men should have their hands upon their loins as a woman in travail. These niggas going to be consumed with all these gangsters. They going to be starving out. Their kids going to be starving. The Lord for to pay you niggas back. You know, you gangster culture. The Lord for to pay you niggas back, man. Thought culture. You women that prance around America enticing men with your ass hanging out. You proud for this shit about it. Hey, you finna get paid back for it. You know? The Lord got these niggas in the trick bag, man. You see, real really quick. Let's just grab that. It's the book of. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 1. For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, how about Shemia was shy? Do it take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the state and staff. It's like the state and the staff, the whole state of bread and the whole state of water. That state and that staff goes into your support. You know, the government assistance. You see, hey, the trick daddies. You know, the Lord for to take away the whole state. Hey, the, the, man, everything that pretty much keep this place going, uh, keep you niggas stable. The Lord gonna take it away. He said the whole state of bread and the whole state of water. Yeah, see, he drying up the rivers. He didn't destroy the uh, the livestock. He didn't destroy the crops. What you niggas think for the come down? It ain't food stamps ain't gonna matter. You see, ain't gonna be no food to buy. The Lord for the tear that down, man. You finna be left vulnerable out here. You know? Unless you repent and return to y'all by Shemel Shah. You finna be left vulnerable, man. Able to get money, not being able to afford goods and services because they will be priced right out of the reach of most people. There is severe distress looming for the United States. Yep, see? Severe distress. Where is that? they my favorite thing to go into right here. This is the book of Luke 21 and verse 25. He said, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. Hey, it was just an article that dropped. But uh, they said that the sun was smiling. You know. So you see those signs. It, it was a picture, an image drop about the sun. Uh, uh, having a little smile on his face, man. You know, uh, in the spirit. Let me see real quick. I really ain't got to go here. But let's just see real quick in the spirit. I just want to show it. Here it is. Yep. <laughs> see that? A photo of sun smiling in NASA. Photo could be a warning f uh, for Earth, man. Yeah, you see? Because what's for the come down the pipes? Distress, man. Niggas finna be perplexed. <laughs> you see, hey, he saying there should be suns in the su signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations, and that's what's taking place because all this truth coming out, man. You know, they 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 realize they seeing that the that the elites are uh uh destroying the. Destroying the earth system You know they purposely doing this They purposely destroying the economy and shit So people seeing the uh, Esau for who he really is You know And it's bringing distress Because these motherfuckers been living in a lie You actually thought the American You actually thought getting a good job Was the way of life Having a good job Or the shit that they promoted to you on TV The family movies and shit Niggas actually wanted to have the Christmas parties and shit 
The whole family get together at Big Mama House for the reunion. Niggas was seeking after that, man. You know? But now you feel to be in distress because all those dreams and aspirations that you had here in America is fit to be bleak now because the economy collapsed. The dollar and crash. Now it ain't fit to be no good jobs and shit, man. You see, he said with perplexity, you see in which that word perplexity going into being without, man. Without resources. You see, motherfuckers gonna be per motherfuckers gonna be perplexed, man. They gonna be in perplexity. You ain't gonna have answers. You ain't gonna have resources. You ain't gonna have shit. You ain't gonna have faith. You ain't gonna have reasoning. You ain't gonna have shit. You'll be a you just gonna be another motherfucker in America, man. Suffering. You see, cause you ain't wanna repent. He said the sea and the waves roaring. Man's heart filling them with for fear, man. Man's heart filling them for fear. Niggas gonna be having heart attacks, man. Because the fearful things that's gonna be going on. Like, hey, they said when when takeoff died, they said Quavo passed out, man. So, hey, just imagine with these street niggas going, man, the Lord for the bring forth some shit that's gonna scare the shit out of these people, man. The scenarios, the 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 warnings, the the reports they gonna be hearing, it's gonna be put fear in these niggas, man. Not knowing how you gonna eat, man. You already ain't got shit in your refrigerator. That's gonna put fear in a nigga. You know, he said, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for powers, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Yeah. See, hey, how about you? I should have to visit this place, man. The powers of heaven gonna be shaken, man. You know, great fears for the fall upon this place, man. You see? Let's finish that video out. States, but they are not admitting it and they are not speaking about it. They are not warning about it. It is not being confessed so that people would at least have a chance to prepare. Yep. Hey, the, the global elites is not... Uh, they not warning you people of this because it's of their plan to get you to take the karagma, man. To get you to take their new monetary system. So they not going to warn you. They're just going to let it fall on you and leave you vulnerable where you got to trust in them, man. That's their whole plan. But the prophets of y'all by now is trying to tell you what's going on, man. They, hey, from our elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, it's been out here for decades, man. Been teaching this truth since the fucking 80s. Since the 70s probably, man, I believe. Or the 60s. I believe. That's, you know. But this truth been out, man. So people been getting the warning, man. Even now, more than ever. You see? But it's up to you to hearken. You know? But Lord, when he was edified to the elect, to those seek salvation, Lord, Lord, Yahweh, shine to the next time. I say, Shalom.